flowing fountain, comforter and counselor, take complete control, welcome Holy Spirit. Lord, we are in your presence. We are in your presence. Lord, fill us with your power. Live inside of me. Oh, welcome, Holy Spirit. Lord, we are in your presence. the Lord have his way. Lord, have your way. Oh, God, even those that in their home listening, God will do something. He can draw them. He is God and he knows just what to do, when to do, and how to do it. So we are calling unto him. We are going to pray and ask him to have his own way in our midst tonight as we look to him. After all is said and done, everything that we do, it must be to his honor and to his glory. He, Jesus Christ, must get all the glory. Oh, we are here to tell others 
God has saved us and he can do it for them. So we are out here. We leave behind, Lord, from the four walls and come out telling people that God saves, he keeps, and he satisfies. Let us all pray together. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, how can I say thanks for the things that you have done? Hallelujah. Things so undeserved, Lord, yet you gave your life to prove your love to us. The voice of a million angels cannot, hallelujah, express our gratitude. All that I am and ever hope to be, Lord, I owe it all to you, Jesus. Lord, we come tonight looking to you, giving you thanks, God, for what you have already done. And giving you thanks for what you are going to do tonight. Lord, we are here, Lord, just a vessel to be used by you. But, oh God, we have read in your word as we come. We are consecrating ourselves before you, knowing, God, that you don't use a dirty vessel. So, Lord, we know that your blood are still available tonight to wash us to cleanse us and to purify us. Lord, cleanse our mind, our thoughts, our inner being. Lord God, that when we lift our hands, when we open our mouths to give you praise, God, it will be accepted. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord God, as we look towards you tonight, Jesus, Lord, we are asking you, Lord, for souls. Wherever they are, God, we are making our wants and wishes known. Lord, they are there on the outside. They are out in the cold. But tonight, Lord, you can do. You can do what no other can do. Lord, you can change. You can draw. Oh, God, I pray in the name of Jesus. As your word go forth tonight, oh God, it will fall on solid ground, and good ground. Lord, my God, hallelujah, we are depending on you, Jesus. Nothing of ourselves we, we want to do tonight. Lord, we want self be slain, and Lord, we see only you. Only you can satisfy. Only you can bring about the peace that passes all understanding. Only you can save soul. So as we pray and as we ask you, Lord, all of us that are here, we know is our heart desire. Oh, God, that's why we are out here. Lord, for souls, for souls, souls to be saved before it's too late. Have your own divine way in our midst tonight, Lord. As we look to you, we give you the honor and we give you the glory. And we say thanks for what you have done. Thanks for what you are doing even now. Thank you for what you are going to do. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise God. Let's clap our hands unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. I know we can do better than that. Hallelujah. Our God deserves the best. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're just throwing ourselves at his feet tonight. Glory be to God. And we're giving God Everything, hallelujah, everything, he deserves the best, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, let's lift our hands one more time, let's forget about ourselves, concentrate on him, and worship him, hallelujah, let's open our mouths, hallelujah God, we lift you up tonight, Jesus, we exalt you, Ah, God, there is none like unto you. You're great and you're mighty. You're excellent, Jesus. God Almighty, we are proud to call you our own. Ah, God, there is none like you, Jesus. You're our champion tonight. Hallelujah, we square our shoulders boldly. 
God Almighty, because we have a great Brigadier General who backs us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we are on the battlefield for the Lord tonight. So I want us to have the right mindset. Glory be to God. We are on the battlefield. So we have the same mind. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to, is Sister Hermeline here? Glory be to God. Praise ye the Lord. We're going to go right into the scripture at this time. Minister Lewis. We are on the battlefield for Lord. On the battlefield for my Lord. I will fight till I die. I'll never run away. I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Oh, I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Minister Lewis. That's right, I'm on the battlefield. The Apostle Paul says, For me to live, for me to live is to die is gain. Praise be to God. We're going to fight until, praise God, the rapture. Are dead. Praise God. Hallelujah. Tonight's scripture reading it is taken from Second Peter chapter three. Second Peter chapter three. This is the apostle Peter, the one who denied Christ but repented of his denial. Praise be to God and was accepted back into the body of Christ. And this is Peter writing in his second letter. Praise be to God. The second epistle, meaning the second letter. Beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance that he may be mindful of the words which were spoken before 
by the holy prophets and have the commandment of us that the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us ward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seen then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of person ought he to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that he looked for such things, be diligent that he may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. On account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, had given unto you. I stop there. Praise be to God. This is the word of the Lord through the apostle Peter. Praise God, reminding us of the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The grass will wither and the flowers will fade, but the word of the Lord will remain forever. God bless you. God bless you. He is coming soon. He is coming very soon with joy we welcome his returning it may be morn it may be night or noon i know
community you are hearing my voice tonight and not just mine hallelujah but you may be wondering where we are from and tonight I just want to tell you who we are praise the Lord we are members of Pentecostal Tabernacle Health Shop we are located at 3A Orchid Way right up the top there praise the Lord we are the Pentecostals, praise ye the Lord. We are baptized in Jesus' name. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God. The word of God tells us that, you know, the name of the Lord, glory be to God, is a strong and mighty tower. The righteous run into it and, and they are saved. There's no other saving name but the name of Jesus. We're filled with the Holy Ghost. Praise ye the Lord. With the evidence of speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God gives the utterance. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And so we want to welcome you to night you may be in your bedroom your living room wherever you are glory be to God we extend a warm welcome to you we invite you to come on over we're having a glorious time in the Lord and we want to share that moment with you glory be to God hallelujah hallelujah a warm welcome awaits you praise the Lord praise God hallelujah just want to quickly mention the announcements for this week. Praise God. On Tuesday, we have our Zoom prayer meeting and our ladies fellowship department will be in charge. Praise God. On Wednesday at 7 a.m., we have morning manna in the sanctuary. At 10 a.m., we have prayer and fasting also in the sanctuary. And at 7 p.m., we have Bible study in the sanctuary. On Thursdays, our evangelism day, where we take time out of our busy schedule, just one hour out of the 24 hours, and we are very intentional, where we minister to a soul. Praise the Lord. On Friday the 9th, we have an Agape Social at the sanctuary at 7.30 p.m., and I want to make a special invitation to the members of our community. You are married and you're, you and your spouse, your, your, your husband, wife, you are invited to come and join us in our Agape Social. Agape is one of those ministries that we have for married couples, praise the Lord. And we want to extend that invitation to all the members of this community. Please come and join us. We'll be having a wonderful time in the Lord. Praise God. Um. On a Saturday at ten, Saturday, sorry, the tenth at seven a.m. we have prayer in the sanctuary. Once again, the members of our community, you are encouraged, you are invited to join us in prayer. Praise the Lord, our doors are open to you. Praise the Lord. Let us remember our daily Bible reading passage, and these are posted in the WhatsApp group daily. Praise God. Rightly Dividing the Word comes on every Sunday morning on Fame 95.5 FM from 6 to 6.30 a.m. Please remember our Region 2 Congress, December 10th at 10 a.m. at Grace Tabernacle, Old Harbor. And our Christmas, our Sunday School Christmas program will be on December the 18th at 6.30 p.m. Once again, I'm extending an invitation to the members of the Hellshire community to come and share with us in our Christmas program on December 18th at 6.30 p.m. Praise ye the Lord. Glory be to God. Praise God.
Bless the Lord, everyone. All right, so we are going into a time of testimonies. Bless the Lord. So if you wish to testify, you can come up here. Bless the Lord and share your testimony of how God has been good to you. Bless the Lord. Jesus is my deliverer. Jesus is my deliverer. Jesus is my deliverer. I know he delivers me. How do you know he delivers? How do you know he delivers? How do you know he delivers? I know he delivers me. Jesus is my deliverer. Jesus is my deliverer. Testimonies, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, encourage someone with your testimony tonight. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Who will be the first one? Hallelujah. If you're not the preacher, please come and testify. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. God is a deliverer, he's a provider, he's a way maker. Amen. I think it was on uh, Friday. I was coming to Portmore. I went to pick up uh, my daughters at school. And I had about four of them in the vehicle. But I was running late because I had to come to Portmore and then go back to work in the evening. And uh, I needed to get them something to eat because they were coming to Helsha to practice. And uh, I was there wondering where I could get something for them to eat, even some patty. And while I was there thinking, one of them in the car said, um, there is a tasty on the, the Mandela, patty place on the Mandela, while I was there thinking. And I said, yes. And I just continued and just turn off. And I joined the, the, the drive through to get them the patties. But the line was so long, it was moving so slowly. And then I saw one of the attendants come in with one of those tablets taking orders. And she came to my vehicle and take the order. We at the back of the line. And after she took the order, she went back inside. Um, so she's going to give in the orders. And I was there waiting about two minutes after that. Then I see she was coming past all the cars, coming right at my car. And she stopped. And she said, um, sir, I gave in your order. And you can just give me the money, and I go inside and pay for it. Hallelujah. And then you can just ask one of the children to come and pick it up. And I just gave her the money. She comes straight to me, you know, past all the other cars. When I gave her the money, she said, you could come out of the line. And where I was, that was the only place I could reverse to come out of that line. If I had gone one more car piece, I couldn't come out of the line. I just reversed, go around the other side. Uh, she paid the money. We collected the bag of patties, and we were on our way. 
my God, everything, it, it must have been Jesus. It must have been Jesus. He's looking out for us. God bless you all. Anyone else with your testimony? we just take two more. Bless the Lord. Two more. All right, well, bless the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Tonight, I'm giving God thanks for his goodness and his love. I'm giving God thanks for he's a great protector. He know how to guide. It could be about two weeks ago, my daughter came home and he said, Mommy, I know you always pray in the morning, but this morning, I didn't hear you praying. I don't know if you fell asleep. I said, no, I didn't fell asleep. Somebody was talking and I was there listening. And he said, Mommy, what and what do you pray for? I said, I pray for almost everything. But one of the things I remember, I pray that the Lord will protect my children and pray for you while you go to work because she drove now. I said, then she sit and she said, Mommy, that prayer, I know that's why I ask you. Because right as I reached to that stoplight downtown, and I was about to go across where this car coming from, heading straight in the side. All I could do, just turn on the left down and go down. And I said, these are what God does for his people. When you depend on him, when you look to him, because I am assured that that morning I did pray for your protection. And you can come home and tell me what the Lord has done. God is a great protector. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So while the other person get ready to testify. We sing. He set me free one day. He set me free. He broke the bars of prison for me. One day in glory, his face I shall see. Glory be to God. He said. Thank you, Jesus. So about a few Sundays ago, a few Sundays ago, I was coming to church. But before I was coming to church, um, I was in the house and I was lingering. And I realized, and I don't know about anybody else, but on Sundays, it's, if it's not one thing, it's the other. And it's, it's literally a war to come to church. When the devil don't use somebody, he used something to try and stop you to go to church. And I remember I was there lingering and when I look at the time, I was like, no, it's, no matter how early I wake up, I can't even wake up after five, I'm, I'm running late. And I think I was picking up something and I said, no man, you need to come out of the house. And like, the, like a voice said to me, don't come out yet. 
um, I was supposed to do something and then come out. So I followed the voice and I did. And I have to walk approximately a mile to the bus stop to get some things to come up here. And while I was walking, I was walking speedily, which I normally do, but I just heard a loud noise. I was on the sidewalk heading from Cedar Grove to, in the, um, to the gas station at Independence City. And when I heard the, the, the noise, I saw a vehicle. I heard it like it was skidding. And then I saw a vehicle, a car. It's, it swerved around me. And the entire vehicle came over on the sidewalk in front of me. So I was right here. It was right there. Came in front of me, swerved, and then come back on the road and drove off like nothing happened. I froze because if I had taken another step or if I had came out the time that I initially wanted to come out, I would have been right in that line to get hit by the car. And funny enough, two cars before it was um, Sister Janice, that is Sister Butler's daughter. She was there and I didn't even see her. I heard somebody saying, Crystal, Crystal, come. And then, I don't know, it, God is so amazing and you cannot, you, you can't follow him because I'm here, I'm saying, but then I got a ride. So the devil tried to hit me down, which was supposed to be the bad. But out of that, I got a ride to church. And I'm just giving God, I was so shaken up the morning, I was in the car and I was, I still even I couldn't come to terms with what could have happened. And I'm just giving God thanks. What the enemy meant for evil, God turned it for my good. Glory be to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. And the song says, whose report will you believe tonight? And I can testify that I'm trusting God. Bless the Lord. Despite what is happening you know, in the body, sometimes you feel so sick and, you know, depressed because of circumstances. But I'm trusting in Jesus tonight. You know, uh, it has been, what, over a month now, I'm in pain from my waist down on my right side. And I've I have to be taking pain tablets through the days to just, you know, be able to keep up. And when the pain tablet wear off, oh God, I can't even make it wear off. But, you know, I'm trusting in God. I'm leaning on him and not onto my own understanding. I think it was Thursday or Friday I was going to work and I had to drive. And trust me, I was driving and the pain was in my side and I had to be Jesus, Jesus. And I had to be holding on to the steering wheel. And I had to be crying out, Jesus, Jesus. And God kept me. I didn't even, because it's my right feet, my right hip go right down. And you know, it's a right foot you, you drive with. But God kept me. And I'm here tonight only because of his goodness and his grace. Hallelujah. I'm trusting in him. I'm not going to make this pain keep me down. Bless the Lord. If I have to pay, take the pain tablet, I'm going to take it to get the ease. Hallelujah. I'm going to take it. Bless the Lord. I'm not going to let it keep me down. Bless the Lord. But God is so good. And tonight, I won't complain because I'm just trusting him. I know that he's going to do something. He's building a testimony tonight in me and I'm just leaning on him and not onto my own understanding. Can we just lift our hands in the presence of the Lord and just tell him thanks. Thank you Jesus. Not because I ask but because of what he has done in your life. Hallelujah. 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 We bless your name Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good, for his mercies endure it forever. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Can we just worship him some more? When the praises go up, the blessings, they'll come down. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Great is our God tonight and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is a day that the Lord hath made. Hallelujah. And we are rejoicing in him tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. 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 We're not wasting time. And before we hand over, we're going to just sing this song. Hallelujah. It says, you're awesome in this place, mighty God. Hallelujah. If you believe that the Lord is awesome, he just does something sometime and you even can't fathom it. Hallelujah. You are awesome, mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, our Father. and he wants to share his testimony and we're going to be allowing him tonight glory be to God come hallelujah praise the Lord yeah yeah um let's say good night I should say that and good night to all church members me is a youth from the community and it's a whole heap of God as you. So, I don't want nobody to say to me, say, um, we can't go to church. Because enough time I go to church, people are all on for me and say, if you give your life to the Lord, no, you are got dead. And me look at me and say, no, man, enough things me go through, you know. Yeah. But enough things me can't talk about, like, talk, talk, like we say, all right. But, I have to big up a youth named Sadio Coombs. Dali, man, they call him, right? I'm dead right on the lane there, so I play some damn no and some altercation go on. I don't know. And it always opposes me. I lose three friends back to back. Three friends I lose back to back. And then I say, boy, go to hospital around 5,000 times. And still alive. Last time I get a call, you know, I'm in the hospital bed and say, I say you're dead. I say, Yes, and me dead. So, oh, you better talk to a dead man. Is me? But mixy all the time. Say is a God church. But we're, we're few are gathered. We're few are gathered. That is a church. So more time we depend on the corner. You hear them and them a reason. My fair reason about life. And I like we don't like church. You know? We love church. God church me growing up. Big up sister Campbell. We pass and gone. Is me? I'm for big up course of them. What are the youth them in the community? And you know, can, if you do this more often, you know, 
No future will come out and talk them mine and free up themselves and thing. Yeah, you see me? <laughs> you see me? So, me not, me not come here and put it up and like, yeah, I'm the brightest person. No, anybody who can teach me something positive in my life, me give thanks to that. Yeah, because me love my, me and my mother, always I got it. She has said, you can't do that, you can't do that. Me, me want to do what me want to do. Me is a selector, me love playing music. Me like instrument. Yeah, so. All of the year, just give you a word of prayer and say glory to be to God. Thanks for the year. Can I testify a little thing? Yes, me? In Jesus' name we. Amen. God has been merciful to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let us continue to pray for this young man. Praise the Lord. God has extended his mercies towards him so that he can be here tonight. Praise the Lord. Nothing good that we have done. Praise ye the Lord, but just his grace and his mercy. We are going to be singing this chorus. Your grace and mercy. Praise ye the Lord. Your grace and mercy brought and your mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Your grace and mercy brought me through. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 
I'm just going to be inviting our praise team to just share a song with us and then the next person you'll be hearing hallelujah is minister Kevin Robinson but just before our praise team comes I'm going to be asking us to give some hallelujah shouts glory be to God we're going to go seven times praise the Lord hallelujah hallelujah Praise God. We are giving God everything, saints of God. God is a keeper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to understand. Hallelujah. That great things is happening. Hallelujah. Great things are happening. Hallelujah. We are on the battlefield. I want us to not look through the physical eyes tonight. Glory be to God. I want us to understand what we are up against. Hello. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. So we are going to be sending up some hallelujah praise. Glory be to God. Some of us may be tired, but it's our sacrifice of praise tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, there's this single song that says, He gives strength to me when I worship him. And I find that to be so true. Many times I'm feeling tired, but when I start to worship, I don't know where strength comes from. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to praise God. After two, two, we're going to go hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. After two, seven times. Praise ye the Lord. Let's get our mindset right. After two, one, two. Ha! to God. After two, one, two. Glory to God. After two, one, two. Hallelujah. One, two. Hallelujah. One, two. Hallelujah. One, two. to God. Hallelujah. I remember one minister come and telling us that when we send up our hallelujah, must see going up to heaven and opening up the, the windows up there and doing what we want. Glory be to God. I don't know. There may be a situation in your life tonight. Glory be to God. And those who are in the, on the hearing of my voice, glory be to God. You can shout that hallelujah in your bedroom, in your kitchen, wherever you are. Whatever the situation, you think about it tonight. As you, you shout that hallelujah to God. Watch that hallelujah go up. Glory be to God. And do exploits. Glory be to God. After two. One, two. Ha! be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Happy, happy, happy. Happy in the Lord. Keeping God's commandments and trusting in his word. I want you to know God's promise is true.
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let me hear happy people shout a praise. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are here. You're moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You're working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You're turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. And we're standing 
God, praise God. Just want to welcome those who are under the sound of our hearing and we want to move with speed and haste because time is upon us and we want to declare everything that's laid in our heart to declare for this hour. Praise God. If you can see a Bible, we want you just to share this thought with you, but if you are hearing under the sound of our voice, you can just listen attentively. Praise God. It's taken from 1 Kings, 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 21. One verse. 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 21. 
Elijah bringing the people together at Mount Carmel and asking this question. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long will ye halt between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, follow him. And the people answered, not a word. Tonight, we want you to name your side. Oh, God. We want you to name, name your side. You, don't, you can't be neutral. You have to name your side. Praise God. Uh, unfortunately for me, my side gone home. Because I was carrying Germany, and Germany is gone home. But in the middle of the conversation at work, uh, I was there saying, well, if them go home, I'm going to carry France. And somebody said to me, no, if Germany is your side, then you need to go down with your side. You can't be wishy-washy and dancing all over the place. You pick a side, you must stick to your side. But tonight, the Lord is asking you to name your spiritual side. Name it. Because uh, the people referred to in Elijah's time had a situation like this. They didn't want to speak against Jehovah because that is the God of their forefathers. And so they were fearful of saying anything that would put them in problem with Jehovah. But the king and queen had a different god called Baal. And they didn't want to offend the king and queen, especially the queen, because she could chop off your head. And so there was an indecision because down before them was their head being chopped off in the present world. But before them was being in a bad stead with Jehovah. And so they were taught between two opinions. They, they look like me in this jacket. You see, this jacket don't belong with these pants. So half of the suit is on me. Half is for the suit, the jacket. But the pants belong to something else. And this is what is happening to a lot of people under the sound of my voice. They are in love with Jesus as a person, but they are not in love enough to serve him. They are in love with Jesus for a blessing, but they are not in love enough to carry his cross. They are in love with Jesus for his goodness and the idea of going to heaven, but they are not in love with Jesus enough to make a committed relationship with him seven days a week, 24 hours a day. They halt between two opinions. Should they continue in the world and seek all the pleasures of sin and the present age? Should they continue to pursue their dreams, their economic goals, should they pursue foreign? Should they continue scamming? Should they continue living a shocked up life? Should they continue in sin? Or should they surrender to Jesus with all the possibilities that come with that? Because we are not here to tell you that it's happily ever after. But you would need to make that choice. And so God is saying, look, I'm tired of being your emergency kit. I'm tired of being your emergency supply. When you're in the corner, you're calling me. But when you're out of the corner, I can't hear from you. I'm tired of being your part-time lover. I, I want all or nothing. Name your side. Name your side. Name your side. God gives choice. You see, God is not a bully. God is not a rapist. God is not a force full person who is going to force you to serve him. When God made man, God 
gave man a choice. God gave him a whole garden. And just to ensure that God, that man has a choice, God said, this one, don't touch it. You see, you see, if God gave man no choice, then man would be an autopilot. But then it wouldn't be love because love is chosen, not forced. And so God is the one that set up the universe with choice. Why is there evil in the world? Because God gave man choice. And because God gave man choice, evil is existing. God gave the angels choice. That is why evil could even present itself in heaven. God gives choice because God is love. And love always gives you the opportunity to be with itself and to surround yourself with him. Never by force. You see, fear which the devil uses feels forceful. But God never does that. God will convict you but never force you. Uh, so God gives choice. Not only does God give choice. But God makes it your choice. You see, God doesn't choose for you. The choice is not our choice. It's not your family choice. It's not your husband's choice. It's not your mother's choice. God gives you your choice. You are the one that chooses. Everyone under the sound of my voice will be choosing individually whether or not you are going to go all the way with Jesus. Nobody can do, make this choice for you. It is not Jamaica's choice. It's not St. Catherine's choice. It's not Hersha's choice. It's not Portmore's choice. It's your choice. And, and the choice that God has given you. Not only does God give you choice, but we want to invite you not to lie to yourself. You, you, if you tell yourself that you are worshiping God when you're not, you're trying to give yourself a pill. But that pill is a dangerous pill. That's an eternally damning pill. Don't lie to yourself. If you know right now that I have not really chosen God, you need to come clean and say you see the people here within Elijah's case they said not a word because the queen was still out there and Jehovah was still listening and I don't want any of them to hurt me but 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 if you don't make that choice then you will have made a choice but right now, God wants you to stop and think about what choice have you made. You see, it's not about joining this church. It's not about joining this organization. It's about you choosing to follow God. And that choice remains with you. And that decision to follow God is an all-the-way decision. You see, you're never exactly 50% pregnant. You're never exactly 50% dead. You're either a little alive or fully dead. You're either pregnant or not pregnant. You're either employed or unemployed, but you are never in the middle of ish. No. You may be on the edge, but you're always somewhere. And tonight, you need to stop fooling or trying to fool yourself that you are serving God and you know that he is not your dedicated choice. And tonight, he's calling you, how long will you have me on the fence? How long will you try to two-time me? Uh, I'm tired of being not number one. Your choice, however, has consequences. And this is what we don't like to talk about. We don't like to talk about the fact that when I choose not to choose, or I make a choice that there are 
consequences to my choice. You see, I can't choose the consequence, but I have a choice to the thing that leads to the consequence. Uh, it, let me put it like this. I can choose not to bid, but if I choose not to bid, the consequences I'm going to smell stink. I can't stop the stinkness, even if I bid it in perfume, the stinkness will be fighting. And after two, three days, four days, five days of not bearding, I can beard it all I want. The stinkness is still there. You can choose not to serve God wholeheartedly, but understand that that comes with consequences. You can choose not to be baptized in Jesus' name, but understand that that comes with consequences. You can choose not to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, speaking in the heavenly language as the Spirit of God gives you the utterance, but understand that that come with consequences. And you can't choose the consequences. You can only choose not to or decide to. And so tonight, God is calling somebody. Choose. Name your side. Because nobody wants to say, I didn't choose God. But the reality is if you don't choose God, you have not chosen God. And then we don't want to tell you in a, to be diplomatic to tell you that when you don't choose God, you are choosing something or someone else. Uh, somebody I was arguing with recently said, I, I want to be neutral. I don't want to choose God or the devil. Uh, I, I'm, on the I'm in the middle, but Jesus says, he that is not with me is against me. And, and, and nobody wants to hear that they are in opposition to Jesus. But here is the ugly reality of your choice. If you don't choose to surrender to Jesus, if you don't choose to repent, of sin. If you don't choose to tell the man that, hey, we cannot continue shocking up. I need to serve God and that means I'm either a wife or a memory. If we don't choose to walk away from the gambling den, if we don't choose to leave the narcotics and leave the drugs and leave the lifestyle of sin, then I have made a choice. And that choice is to be in opposition to God. God is not going to take you as a part-time worker. This is not a part-time employment. You're either on God's side even if you're struggling and dying. You're either on God's side even when you're weak and faltering. You're either on God's side all when you're bad and I give trouble and your flesh are beat you and you're weak and a drop down but you're still fighting on God's side or you are a good sinner but you're still in opposition to God and, and nobody wants to call themselves opposing God because what we talk about is all oh, those church people but put the church people aside and just ask yourself this question. Am I really committed to following after God? Am I really committed to obeying what God says? Am I even committed to following my conscience? Even our conscience, we are disobeying. And tonight, I want you to hear that call of the Spirit. Name your side. Face your reality. Look it in the eye and say, this is where I am. And I need to decide if I really want to be on posing side of God. And tonight, if you decide that, look, I, 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 I think I, I haven't thought this thing through. I never reasoned this upon the corner. But, but now that I'm hearing your thought uh, uh, and, and I'm thinking it through, 
I want to make another choice. We have great news. God is standing at the door and saying, come. Come and choose me and live. Come and choose me and have another life. Come and choose me and let me give you another experience. Because without choosing me, your life is meaningless. Why do you get up in the morning? You don't know. Because you haven't chosen God. And therefore, your life has no purpose. You feel like an accidental creation of your parents having a hot night but you don't know that you were created by God for his glory and you don't know the joy of just being in fellowship with your creator and so your life depends on one more spiff, one more grubber, one more night, one more sexual encounter, one more dance, one more session, one more high, one more Hennessy because there is void and emptiness because of your choice. But God is allowing you to do a replay. You can replay this cassette of your life. You can start over. You can be born again. You can take two on the script of your life and have a new beginning in Christ. For if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are being made new, but it's depending on your choice. It's depending. Listen, this aspect of choice is so deep and so potent that even the Christian has some choice. You can choose what kind of Christian experience you're having. You can choose how much of God you want to experience. You can choose how much of God's power you want to see. You, It's simple. Every morning when you get up, the time you spend with God sets the whole equation running. It's still your choice. You can choose to remain at ground one or you can decide I want to go to ground 10 and decide to make the choice tonight if you are hearing my voice and you are looking at all the choices that you have made the reality is that 90% of where you are now is not the economy, the world, the people, uh, and all the things around you, the government and the, the system. Uh, 90% of your life is the result of the choices that you have made. One by one, accumulating. 90% of our health is our choice. It's not Satan attack us because we attack the bad food first. And now we have the consequence. Uh, we don't want to talk about it, but you see me, I, I love the, the bad soda and the, the, I love the, mm -hmm, I love the bad choice. And I, when I feel it in my body, I say, mm -hmm, yes, Kevin, you, mm -hmm, you love the coffee again and you drink three cups already and uh, mm -hmm, your consequence is coming home to reach you. And so tonight, if you are hearing my my voice. Think about all the consequences that are, you are now reaping. Some consequences are consequences of good. I went to school. I worked hard. I tried again. I did the exam five times and finally passed. And that, that decision, that choice led to some other consequences. But I didn't continue my studies, and therefore that decision led to some other consequences. And I want to close this thought in your head. When you reach to the end of life and you go through the door of eternity, in a moment in time, you will look back at every decision that you have made. You will look at every choice that you have made you will consider in a flash you will see the thousands the millions of little decisions that you have made as you prepare now to reap your eternal 
consequence. And if that decisions that you have made lands you in the presence of Jesus and the glory of his saints, you rejoice that you made the right choice to have that consequence. But if those decisions that you have made it lands you in a Christless eternity, you will live with the eternal regret that you were not sent to hell. You chose to go there. You chose it by your choice. You were offered all the possibilities. You were in 10 million services. You heard 10 million preachers, whether they were on TV or they're in this community. You heard and you heard and you read and your grandmother. And you made those choices and now as you walk into eternity, you reap all the consequences of all the choices that you have made. Can I invite somebody to name their side tonight? Can I invite you as you hear my voice and I am speaking to your spirit that you realize that this is an eternal moment and even now you are making another choice whether you will surrender to Christ Jesus and decide that I'm going to walk with God and live for God uh, more than just going to a church. You see, if you choose a church, you may not choose heaven. Oh. Be, oh, God. If You see, if you don't choose Jesus, then you're going to walk away from the gathering. Because sometimes it gets rough. But when you choose Jesus, even if things don't work like how you think they should work, you made Jesus your choice. And, you, and not only have you made him your choice, but you chose him over and over. That is why you still have a choice when you choose Jesus to walk away and backslide because he's never forcing you to keep your choice. You can choose out of sin tonight and you can even choose out of Christ tonight. Uh, some people say, oh, God is the one who is making. God is allowing you in his sovereignty to choose. Can I invite you to name your side? Can I invite somebody who has thought about the side that they're on and the choice that they have made to, to decide to make another choice? Hear Jesus crying in Matthew eleven twenty eight: Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest i close with this text and now and now therefore fear the lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in egypt and serve the lord and if it seem evil unto you to serve the lord Choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your fathers serve, which that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, choose your side. Choose, choose, choose your side. It's more than a church building. It's more than a, a religion. It's a choice. Choose your side. And if you're here tonight and you want somebody to pray with you, we invite you to come over and be prayed for. If you're struggling and you want somebody to pray with you, you can come near to this pulpit where I am standing and just say, pray for me. Uh, sometimes you're struggling to make a better choice. Uh, sometimes uh, your choices of your past are holding you down into today. Uh, but even now, God is calling you to choose and to choose him because he has a, the best life for you. Will somebody 
choose Christ today. Choose an eternity. If you want somebody to come and pray with you and you're across the road or under the sound of our voice, we'll be happy to come where you are and pray with you. But choose, choose, choose. Name the side that you're on and make that choice a conscious decision. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Can we come a little bit closer? Can we just come a little bit closer? In doing that, we are representing some persons. Praise be to God. We need to represent all the young people, all the elderly, all the married people, Praise be to God. Thank God for this lady. Praise God. Has responded to the invitation to come a little bit closer for prayer. And we know that the Lord wants to really bless her with his wonderful salvation if she has not yet surrendered to the Lord. The preacher preached that you have a choice and your choice to come with a consequence with good bad consequences. Thank you Lord. Just as lift your hands everywhere as we draw a little bit closer we're coming close to end of this meeting so we just want to worship the lord and thank him for one precious precious song one who is precious to him leave the 99 and he would go for the one for the one thank you jesus I'll choose you again and again. As we sing softly. I'll choose you
Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I'll choose in the name you of Jesus. again and again. Lord, pray to every child. I'll choose you again and again. Pray to every child. You mean so much to me. Lord, send every captive.
servant who declared your words hallelujah we are sure that your words will not return void unto you your words are gone forth hallelujah into the ears and into the hearts of those who heard your words that they need to make a choice. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And we are praying that those who heard the word will make the choice to serve Jesus. Will come to him before it's too late. Before eternity draws nigh. Praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The word is not only, praise God, to save men, but the word also is to judge mankind. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. But our desire is to see men saved before the judgment comes. Praise be to God. And so we are grateful and thankful. Praise God for the word of the Lord and for... Minister Robinson, who availed himself, that God could use him in such a way. Praise be to God. We cannot be between two opinions. We must choose a side and stand the side that we are on. God be God, serve him. Baal or Satan be your God, then serve him. But we want you to serve God because God is our creator. God is our maker. And he loves you. And he wants to save you. Praise be to God. We are coming down. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to close the curtain. Amen. And this street service. We want to thank God for this lady who stepped forward. Praise God. And I believe she had stepped forward in faith. Praise God. You made one step, God will make two. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for coming and sharing in the service with us tonight. We do appreciate you. Thank you. Hallelujah. And thank all those who have made the effort, the sacrifice to be here. We know that it is. We are going to take the information. Praise God. We have a pen. Amen. And we will take your information and we will follow up. Praise be to God. Hard working technical team.